Hi, I'm Renee, and I clean, declutter, and organize my followers' homes for free. In this episode, I organize and declutter a master closet, master bedroom, two dressers, and a master bathroom. The first few pictures that you saw were what the homeowner sent me. After each area is completed, I'll do before and after pictures. This was a two-day project, and the second day will be part two, the kitchen. I started on the master closet. This took the majority of the time because decisions had to be made about each piece of clothing and the shoes. We were creating a donate pile in front of me and the shoe pile to keep was in the shower to my right. A side note, some of the shoes and clothing that you're gonna see are not all of her items. Her mother and grandmother gave her items and she could not say no, I don't want them. She didn't want to hurt their feelings, but she also didn't want to dress as an older woman either. This homeowner is in her 20s and didn't want to dress like a 50 or 70 year old. I know people think they are doing good about asking their family members if they want their items. But my experience has been that most people don't want your items and hang on to them out of fear that you might ask about it or come over and look for it. It's easier just to donate the items. As she was making decisions about keeping her clothing, I put them back in the closet by like items. So here is the backstory. The homeowner reached out to me to help her. She stated she finally had come to the conclusion that between working at the hospital and doing an internship and finishing up her master's degree, she wasn't able to do this on her own anytime soon. I'm not sure she had barely any time to sleep. Remember where you see this shoe rack because it will change locations later.
if you will notice, I'm not putting the clothes on the far right lower shelf. This is because that side of the shelf has not been properly anchored to the wall and needs a toggle bolt anchor. She said her dad would be able to fix that for her. The shoe storage rack that was originally to the left of the door when you walk in, I moved it here so now she would be able to easily get to all of her long dresses easier. So now I'm taking all the shoes that she wanted to keep that were in the shower and getting ready to organize them in the shoe rack. Thank you. 
I would normally put an after video right here, but we have to declutter the clothes in the master bedroom and see what else goes into the closet. Okay, on to one of the bedroom dressers. I emptied each drawer on the bed for her to go through each item. As she was going through the dresser drawers, I started folding the laundry on the bed and putting the items that get hung up back in the closet. I emptied each of the dresser drawers onto the bed for her to go through each item. What she wanted to keep, I put them back in the dresser. 
The bag you see on the floor came out of the closet. These were her t-shirts she wanted to keep and there would be three drawers full of t-shirts. When you pull out dresser drawers, don't forget to look behind them to see what's hiding. I also vacuumed out each drawer. The top drawer was her underwear that she kept. On to the second dresser. Once again I removed everything and she made decisions on what she wanted to keep. This top dresser was jam-packed and hard to get the items out. I then started putting like items back into the dresser. I forgot to take after pictures of the dresser drawers. Back to folding and hanging up clean clothes.
I was not able to get to the top of her dresser to get that cleaned off. In the closet there was a brand new bedspread and sheets and so I put those on the bed. Now I can finally show you after pictures of the closet. Next up, the bathroom. I started by getting the clothes that were dirty out of the bathroom and into the laundry room. I was initially going to start on the sink cabinets, but changed my mind and moved over to the linen closet. Letting the toilet bowl soak with cleaner. I took all of the blankets and sheets out for her to determine what to keep and what to donate. Once she made the decision, I was able to start putting them back in the linen closet. Okay, back to the toilet. I'm trying to get better with my camera angles, but sometimes you just can't put a tripod where you want to. So here's a different camera angle shot. I'll wait on the reveal of the linen closet because some of the items under the sink will go in here. So underneath the sink on the left hand side was a lot of body lotions. I put the like items together in a container. If the lotion containers were just about empty, I discarded them and she was also letting me know what she doesn't use anymore.
On the right side was hair products. She once again let me know what she no longer used. The one she used infrequently will go in the linen closet. By the way, if you haven't liked or subscribed to Less Mess, please do so now because those numbers going up just inspire me to make more videos and more content. And would you do me a great favor and share these videos across your social media platforms. Thank you so much. And of course I put like items together again. Time to tackle the drawers. This drawer was a catch-all for the bathroom items. I started once again by sorting like items together and she was letting me know what she no longer uses. You've watched this video so far, and I'm lucky enough to help these families. And when you've watched this video to the end, you're helping more families to declutter and organize their homes. Now for the space where the chair would go. I emptied what was in the box to see what was there. The hair appliances will go in the linen closet because she doesn't use them often. This left room for all the toilet paper that was in her clothes closet.
Ready for some more before and after pictures? Let me know if you've enjoyed this video by hitting the like button. After I was done, this is what the homeowner had to say about the process. Renee helped me more than she knows. I've always struggled with organization and a crazy schedule didn't help. She didn't judge and is very passionate about what she does. She made sure I was part of the process and allowed me to make decisions, again with no judgment. She checked in frequently to make sure I never felt overwhelmed and gave advice on things that may help in the future with organization. It felt good having some organization and to donate so many clothes and shoes. Thank you so much for watching. At the end of the day, we had 15 bags for donation and 10 bags of trash. My next video is ready for you to watch. We'll see you there.